So for these beginning shots in the video for Pushing Daisies, we wanted to really have like a cool sunset feel where Shannon is being crowned and have some of the townsfolk behind her. And so I wanted to really push in on a wide angle lens and have the sunlight just coming in and, and beaming everything. But to do that, you've got to shoot at golden hour. Golden hour is basically when the sun is just about to set. Now we're shooting in the forest and we've got super, super tall pine trees. So when the sun is setting is actually going to be a lot sooner than what it normally would be. And what that means is you basically have about 15 minutes of beautiful light to get your shot. Okay, well that's great, but now we need all these close-ups and these inserts and all the other stuff to make the video cool. So, uh, what we do is use lights where we can power with batteries and a generator. So, we have uh, just a small 2000 watt generator over here powering a 500 watt uh, LED light. And then I've got these uh, 1000 LEDs with batteries on them. And so we can get our beautiful wide shots with the sun going down. But then when we move into close-ups, obviously our sun is completely gone. So we basically try to emulate that beautiful sunset with the lights that we have. We're shooting these videos on the brand new Red Raven. This camera is absolutely fantastic. Been really, really happy with the images it's turning out. So that's a little bit of technical on the first scenes outside in the forest on Pushing Daisies. I look like that. That looks sick. Wow, so this is sick. so cool. So for the night part of the Pushing Daisies shoot, this is where Shannon comes through a portal and she's looking for her sister, way confused. She's out in the middle of now these woods that are kind of scary. She has no idea what's going on. And her sister kind of attacks her from behind a tree and overtakes her. So that's the, the gist of this scene. So I wanted like a stylized moonlighting kind of scene. Obviously it's brighter than uh, uh, just your moonlight would be, but it's a music video so you can get away with things like that. What we're using on this is a super large 500 watt LED light. Um, so it's quite powerful. And then we have a generator that's powering that. And then we have some 500 LEDs that, we, that we're moving around to get our key lights. And then we're using Hazer to get some cool atmospheric effects when the wind's blowing and you've just got this cool like fog in the air. When Bailey was casting the spell with her wand behind the tree, we used a green gel on a small LED light facing up to kind of simulate that the wand was actually lighting up her face. So that's one thing that you can do on set using practical effects to sell your visual effects in post. So another thing you're gonna need, uh, especially when you're doing on location shoots like we're doing in the middle of the forest, is you're gonna need an awesome crew. People that can hustle and just really work super hard and just really enrich your product. I'm super blessed to have such awesome people helping out and just working really hard to make this video great. That's absolutely key. Find those people, surround yourself with them, and make some great stuff. Okay, so we just finished for the day. It was really cold, but it was awesome. Our generator died, which was really interesting, and we had to sit in the dark for like three minutes, but it was really spooky, just like this whole video is going to be. How did you feel? It was so cold. My <laughs> nose kept running the entire time. Everyone kept making fun of me for my nose running. But luckily, but we had these capes, except mine came off like constantly the entire time. So <laughs> we had to duct tape it. <laughs> we had to duct tape, yeah. But overall, it was a really good day, and I'm excited for tomorrow. Yeah, me too. You better bite your tongue. Oh, but please do tell every detail. So we're shooting on the green screen. What we did was we had two 500 LEDs on the green screen, and then we used a 4x4 Kino as the key with some diffusion and then we used like a bounce to fill in from the other side to do a little catch light and just make it more pleasant. So we're shooting in a garage studio which is quite small space wise but it makes it really easy to really control the light and control the environment so that we can make this look super super cool. So now we're going to be tearing this down and moving on to the coffin scene which is all the performance shots where she's actually in the coffin doing the song and the daisies are falling and filling up the coffin. So we just wrapped the Pushing Daisies formant scenes where Shannon is in the coffin surrounded by the daisies. We used the overhead light with uh, silk under that. That overhead light is a four bank Kino, the four by four. And then we also used a, a little 200 LED a daylight for now to get a little more punch and to get a nice catch light in our eyes. 
So when, uh, when using a jib and using like a Dana Dolly, you really need a way to focus the lens. So we use a DJI Focus, which is a wireless follow focus and a wireless HDMI transmitter. So that way we have an assistant camera guy and he's able to focus the camera completely wirelessly, not being attached to me and not hindering me in any way. And so that tool is super awesome. It's been instrumental in letting us do these really cool shots. So today, our third night, we are shooting all the indoor stuff where Shannon and Bailey are in the castle and the stuff where they're running through kind of the cave structures where, where Bailey's just kind of like leading Shannon out to the wilderness essentially. So for the lighting on these scenes, especially when we're doing like all these chase scenes essentially, we did a lot of heavy backlighting so that the light is basically shooting towards the camera. So when they're running, they're really silhouetted because it's supposed to happen at night. So we don't want a, a really super bright scene, we want a really contrasty scene. And so by shooting the light back towards the camera, we're able to illuminate the actors and actresses as they run, and it just looks really cool. And then generally we put some kind of fill light a little more towards the camera, so by the time they get closer to the camera, you could see who it was. Specifically in this, these cave shots, there was a lot of cool open structures directly above us, and we just basically set a light right there, and so that would make a nice pool of light. And then again, when the actors were running towards the camera, we generally shot light right behind them, unlike the walls, so you could really separate the actors from the environment. And we were using all LED lighting because it doesn't create a lot of heat and we're in Arizona and we have too much of that heat already. So that's what we are doing today. Stuff turned out awesome. We're super stoked on, on uh, this location that we're able to go to which is the, the love cave of Africa. So... <laughs>